another episode of Easy Peasy Labeling with me, Melissa. Today I am with the LWPX 700 and I'm going to show you how to add basic serialized text or sequencing to your labels. It's super easy, so let's take a look. Before we get started, I want you to know that you can add serialized text to a very detailed label or maybe that's the only thing you want on a label. So whatever it is, it's really easy to just add that serialization. And today we're just gonna keep it super simple with just the serialized text on there, but know that you can add it to any other label. For this application, what I need is TS100. Okay, and then I need it to start counting up from there. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter in the TS first. Okay, so enter in your starting characters or your starting nomenclatures, and then when you're ready to access the, or to start the sequence, we're gonna use the serialize button here. Okay, now you'll see that it has one, two, three on it, and it has it in both white and blue. So the blue is for advanced serialization. We'll talk about that in another video, and you activate that because it's in blue using the blue shift key. Okay, we'll talk about that later. Today we're gonna do just basic serialization. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit the serialize button. Okay, now it says serialize text and it has my cursor inside of a little brackets. So all I need to do is enter in my starting number. Super easy. My starting number is 100, great. And then I can go ahead and hit return or enter. All right, and now it's gonna ask me the repetition. The repetition is how many times do you want it to repeat that same number before it goes on to the next one. So for example, if I need two of each label, it would be 100, 100, and then go 101, 101, et cetera, okay? For this application, I only need one of each, so I'm gonna hit that and return. Now you'll see it's brought me back to my screen. It has the TS and it has the 100 with little dots behind it. That's just telling me that there's something special applied to this part of the label. Okay, so if I save it and recall it or somebody else is using it, they'll know too. All right, so now if I'm ready, I can go ahead and just hit print. And to print multiple copies, remember we use the shift and print. Okay, so I'm gonna hit shift and the print key. And then I can use my arrow to go up to print copies. Okay, hit return. Now this is going to be how many labels do you want? So for this, I wanted it to go from 100 to 110. So I need 11 labels. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead, it's got 11 in there, and I'm gonna go ahead and hit return. And then you can hit return again to start printing. Now, as this is printing, you'll notice it's not dropping the labels out. Particularly when you're using the sequence or the serialized feature, half cut is so helpful because instead of having 10 individual labels to go through, I'm gonna have a string of labels all in order connected. So I can pull them off as I need, I can start at whichever side I want, and I have them all together and organized. So much easier than having a pile of labels. All right. It's done here. You can see it printed out my labels, 100 through 110, and they are half cut separate from each other. Okay, super easy. So that's how you sequence using the LWPX 700. If you have questions on this printer, sequencing, or any other printers in the lineup, please feel free to reach out to us. We would love to chat with you. Thanks again, and happy labeling.